Welcome to today's video, where I would like to share with you a new potential use case for ChatGPT in project management. Now, if you're familiar with me and my channel, maybe you've been looking at my previous uploads, then you will have noticed that I've started to build various different artifacts using ChatGPT. And I've got another one here for you today. Now, before I begin, I do just want to caveat this video with the fact that I am using the GPT-4 model, which tends to provide better output and results. So unless you've got a paid subscription, do bear in mind that the quality of the output may not be quite the same if you're using 3.5. That being said, it's worth getting a free account and still using this and the following prompts that I'm going to show you um, because you do still get uh, some good output. It just might not be the same. I just wanted to mention that um, before you begin and that's why you might notice that your account doesn't have this plus sign. So I think it's $20 a month for the premium plan. So if you do want to invest in that, then absolutely go for it, but it's not mandatory. You can access this all for free. But with that being said, let's actually delve into the latest artifact that I have been building for my projects using ChatGPT. And what I'm gonna do uh, for you is I'm gonna be, sorry, I had caps lock on there as you, as you could probably see. But what I'm gonna be doing is sharing some prompts and then how we can tailor those prompts to get better output uh, and to basically fasten the process. So let's start. So this is the, what I've been doing. I've been using ChatGPT to be creating business cases. So here is the first prompt that I'd recommend that you, you perhaps start with or just to get a, a, a grasp of what the tool can create. So create a business business case template. Very, very basic, very, very simple. But if I hit that, I'm just gonna show you what ChatGPT can do with a very limited prompt. So what it does at the top is it gives you a very, very brief description of exactly what a business case is. So it's a structured document that outlines the justification for a project or initiative. Helps decision makers understand the rationale behind the proposal, the expected benefits and the resources required. Now, the reason why this is good is because we can use some of this terminology or add this to the two future prompts to, to get a better template or to kind of alter it to meet our needs. If we actually look at what it's provided here, we've got the executive summary and, it give, and, and what this template is doing is it's also giving you an overview of what kind of information you need to include in each section. So that's why I really like starting with chat GPT and I also like with kind of like starting with ba basic prompts as well because it, if anything it gives you an idea it gives you um, places to start from and build upon and it gives you new areas to focus on as well so here we go we've got the executive summary we've got an introduction so a bit of context and background to the project the problem statement the proposed solution analysis of alternatives a cost benefit benefit analysis risk and mitigation strategies, an implementation plan, change man management and communication, monitoring and evaluation, conclusions and recommendations. I've even got this at the bottom where you can add your company name, a date and who's kind of created it. So this is really, really good off, 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 off the bat uh, in terms of just giving us some ideas. So what we could then do from here is we could say um, something like uh, re, uh, rewrite, re, uh, sorry, yeah, rewrite the business case template bolding each section bold let's just leave it at that so what i'm what i'm basically asking it to do here is essentially format it and and that can save a lot of time as well so i can then look to export this into word or another um, word processor so uh, that's Microsoft Word I should say so all you'd need to do to do that is you'd literally just scroll across with your mouse right click copy and you'd paste that into uh, the the document so that's you know one potential um, addition you can add or you could just use that from the outset so you could say create a business create a create a formatted business case with bolded sections that's another prompt you could you could work from so obviously it's going to produce the same output but this is what you could start with this time and i'm not going to wait for this to, to go through um but it's it's really 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 useful i'm going to start a new chat because the way chat gpt works is it kind of builds on the, the former the former prompts so what we are going to do here is create an example uh, business case 
for a software project. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'd like to get an idea of exactly how ChatGPT is going to tailor this for a particular project type. And you can, of course, do this. If you're working on particular types of projects, then you can just simply plug that in instead of instead of this. Or you could start adding, you know, being a little bit more specific in your terminology to make sure it kind of um, provides you with the content you're looking for. So again, this time, it's actually, it's delving into a, a, a false scenario. So you could, what you could actually do in this case, to take this one step further, is, you know, you could, let's, let's start again. You could say something like, create a business case for a software project that is delivering a new a new tool for then you could put something like the client so i'll just do it like this for now um client client name issues uh, or we could say we could say something like the proposed solution is so what i'm trying to get to here is the more detailed we can be in our prompt the more it can kind of plug it in and the end result will be more in line with what you're looking for. So that's how you would kind of alter the prompt and kind of expand upon it. So the proposed solution would um, and, uh, would would uh, enable the, I'll put this again, the client to uh, undertake their own, I don't know, resource allocation and budget. So let's just, this looks like some kind of project management tool that we're, we're providing in this software uh, project. But you get the idea. This is just what I'm trying to show you how you can adapt it. And the more specific you can be, uh, the better. If I just plug this in now, it's, it's going to take this information. So it's actually called this project Budget Pro, which is quite funny. Uh, empowering, you know, that's where you can put your client name with smart resource allocation and budget management. And as you can see, it's updated based on the information I've given it. So Budget Pro is a software project tailored for, and then need to have your client name, to provide an intuitive and intelligent resource allocation and budget management tool. The proposed solution will enable to efficiently allocate resources, track expenditures, and manage their budget in real time. So as you can see, I didn't provide it with that much information, but what I like about it is it kind of jumped into a few conclusions. So centralized resource allocation. I didn't say it was centralized, but that's essentially what it's going to do. And that's that's actually a really valuable kind of aspect to draw out in the business case. Financial forecasting. I didn't add that. And again, that's really, really useful. Integration. I assume that that's going to provide some integration as well. We've got some projected benefits. So that's how you would kind of adapt it. You could then, you could then, obviously add things like um, bold the sections or make, you could say make make this business case um, f formatted and um, ready to use. I don't know what it's going to do here, but I'm going to plug that in. And it hasn't formatted it. So the reason why I've said that particular prompt, I knew this was going to happen, is, you know, it's not going to work every single time. You're going to need to play around with it. Consider it as almost a testing environment at the moment, but it's to give you that start. So if it doesn't work, you can always stop generating, like I've pressed that button here. You could regenerate and see if it works, or you could change your prompt. So it looks like it hasn't worked again. So what we could do here is click on this button. We're gonna, what we're gonna say this time is rewrite the business case, formatting each section also add a section on oh, let's just put project risks so the reason why i've said this hit submit let's see if it works this time it hasn't so the reason why i think it's got added this and it's kind of confused it but but you can see from the prompt i did at the start it we was able to do that so what we might need to do is add this in the initial prompt so just consider that but one thing I want to quickly show you before we finish, I don't want this video, video to come for too long, is you can always type in something like, go into Google and type in something like what to, what to include in a business case. Now, we've got this here. This is what's come up from Adobe. Let's just assume that this is the best business case 
uh, outline. You can obviously research a lot further than this. I wouldn't just go from the top search result. I'd look into this. Uh, I'd use you know something like an Asana project manager, some big you know some big trustworthy websites. Have a little look, see where the overlaps are, see what's missing from some. Then go back into ChatGPT, create a formatted business case for a software project that will enable the client, uh, uh, I should put it like this, the client to manage their resources better. Let's put it like that. Include the following sections that are bolded and formatted. Let's just put something like that. Copy and paste. Let's see what happens. I've not done this before, but hopefully we're gonna get a result that looks great. So as we can see already, it's bolded that. Resource management solution for client, business problem or opportunity. So that's the first one we wanted to include, and it's done so. Benefits. Risk. So absolutely brilliant. So that's what I wanted to show you. You can use other websites. If it's not kind of working for you, you want to, to almost use a, a format that's kind of used elsewhere, and you can also do that. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this. And do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you head over to my channel, there's plenty of other videos on building artifacts with ChatGPT, as along with other project management training uh, videos, whether that's on methodologies, uh, artifacts, or anything in between. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.